Hello and welcome, I am Nanta. Today I would like to introduce you the auto padding in Adobe XD. Did you know that Adobe XD have provided useful features? Many of us didn't notice its full potential. With auto padding feature, you can create auto resizable buttons in XD. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create a resizable button with solid background, gradient background, picture background, and your own custom background. So, without further ado, let's get started. Now, we already dive in in Adobe XD. What you can see here is actually the project that I'm currently working on. And I discovered some tricks that I think that maybe can help you to improve your speed in designing something in XD. But let's just leave the client artboard for now and jump out to the trick that I'm about to show you. Now, we have two buttons right here. But let's just focus on the read more button because the top button that we have is just for a reverence. Now, let's see on the read more button. First, what we are going to do is to make a resizable button with a solid background. So, let's just delete this line because I copy it from our reverence button. And there we have it. Next, click on this checkbox that say padding right here. And you will see this is the padding that we have on this typical button. And yeah, that's about it. So if you want to change it right here, like maybe 30 and it will auto resize to the right and to the left. And I want to make it 24 or maybe 26. Yep. So after we check this padding box right here, if I change the label to learn more you can see it right there that it is auto resizable automatically uh, depending on the label that we put in so there we have it a resizable button with solid background next step we are going to make a resizable gradient button simple just copy this guy right here maybe you can call it uh, Let's call it first to solid. And this one right here, you can rename, rename it to gradient. And yeah. First, make sure you select this rectangle right here and choose fill color to the linear gradient color. Perfect. Now, let's try to put another label so we can see how perfect it is. Let's just say read more or maybe read more on the block. Voila! So there we have it. A resizable button with gradient background. So, next step. Let's try if it's work with pictures. Okay. Copy this guy again. and rename it to pictures perfect and create another rectangle behind this guy right here lose the border move it to the behind it and you can maybe let's say we can have a five padding all around it
perfect. 5 pixel around it. Of course, change the text to black so we can see it. Now, let's try some pictures that we can put into this rectangle. Well, I have already prepared a picture for you. It is a space pattern which have the file extension to .jpg or should we say a picture. So, let's drag it and go to the XD again and make sure you release the pictures to the rectangle behind the container. Voila! Perfect! Now, we already see that the rectangle changed to the picture that we imported. Next thing you want to do is break out of this group right here and make sure it's behind the base container right here and group this guy together and it shouldn't be this container it should be this one base container pictures yeah and make sure the tick box on the padding tick and yeah there we have it let's try to see it in action learn more great maybe read more on the blog or read more on the podcast hmm, sorry listen to the podcast perfect there you have it a resizable button with pictures background all around it so back to our button right here it is cool to have some tv color error background like this but unfortunately we don't have a picture like this one that's okay how about we just create a new one let's have our own custom background First, leave this cool guy right here and start to create the TV error background below it. What I will do, copy this container right here to this one. And start creating the TV error background behind our new container here. Let's copy, oh sorry, let's copy here, make sure it's part of the group right here, we will use it as our reference. First, let's create the yellow line like this one. So what I do know for auto padding is, you cannot auto resize a line in auto padding. So instead of line, we will use a rectangle. Okay, create a rectangle right here. Make it half of this container right here. Let's just say we use the border. And we will use those. Sorry about that. So we have a 157 width. So let's say 157 divided by 2. So we already have a half of this container right here. And don't forget to add another 2 padding on top and the bottom of this container. So there you have it. 2 by 2 for top and bottom padding. And also another to the left. Another 2 padding. Yep that's about it and also create another rectangle and copy this color right here make sure it stays to the half of it uh, sorry I think ah it's because the half of 157 
is we'll have a comma right there let's just say 185 sorry and 158 I want you to take this rectangle right here to be the front of it so we can see and we can get an easy measurement from all around of this rectangle so after that make sure you create for the top line and of course it is a rectangle make it a straight right here and maybe just three picks and close the border so copy the color and after that copy again to make it the button and don't forget to make this up front copy it to this color and voila there you have it now we can delete this our references and you can group and before you can group it let's just say we make name it's left and it is right and stop button and groove it all let's just groove it and let's say this is a TV accent okay now we put this accent into one group with the base container so let's position this group container right here put it to front yep that's about it and put it in the middle uh, you don't need to worry about this break up white pattern right here because it will automatically resizable with our TV accent right here so let's just groove it and let's say it is a uh, base container custom background and tick on this checkbox right here and this one right here will have to be two pixels and yeah there we have it so let's see it in action read more or maybe more on the block yeah voila cool isn't it don't forget to make it component on all these buttons that you created you can right click and make it component or you can control K and it will make it component perfect now let's see we make it component on this button solid and of course gradient and let's just lose this lose this now let's say if we have our copy of this component maybe read, uh, read more and, oh, and then this one is click me now as the project later on the client wants to make the padding more bigger than this 
Well, then it's simple. Just go to this button or this button and right click and click on the edit main component. The XT will take you to the main component and let's change the padding right here to maybe like 10 and voila other slave button will have 10 padding as well following our main component right here so there we have it our template of resizable button with solid background gradient background pictures background and our custom background here now you can try it yourself and create the auto resizable button with your own custom background in Adobe XD. And let's save clients time from now on. Consider this trick is worth one, hit that like button and comment what you can do with this tutorial. Or if you want me to make another tutorial for you, hit that subscribe button and share this tutorial to your fellow designer. Thank you for watching, see you on the next tutorial.